हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज सुहास एंड यू आर ऑन सुहास एसम यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो आफ्टर अ ईयर ऑलमोस्ट आफ्टर अ ईयर इट वाज अ लॉन्ग वेकेशन बट नेवर इट्स नेवर टू लेट टू स्टार्ट अगेन सो हियर आई एम विद अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो एंड द सेटअप माइट बी डिफरेंट दिस नॉट द यूजल मीम रिव्यू और ब्लॉग और एनी थिंग दिस इज अ न्यू सेटअप न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड रैंट डम टॉक्स बेसिकली अ पॉडकास्ट वेयर वी बेसिकली रैंट एंड टॉक डम स्टफ so yeah like uh, the idea just popped up one afternoon and and then uh, any idea that comes up related to content creation the first guy i talked to is mr vignesh talks with vigi and i asked him do you want to just give it a try and he was like yeah so basically he is my scapegoat for all my experiments he is my first victim so talks with vigi welcome to the channel thank you man uh, very much happy to be here on a saturday afternoon i could have been doing anything but i'm right here Uh, with suhas for a random uh, podcast yes i just speaking our hearts out i guess perfect so yeah uh, like i told you this uh, idea just came one afternoon just chilling and then like hey podcast seems to be fun it's in trending so why not give it a try why not? so how are you vignesh how's life how's mm-hmm. everything going on right now yeah i'm good but as you know i had a very personal uh, you know, yeah. tragedy last year uh, so recovering recovering from it uh, hopefully this uh, new year has a lot of uh, good things in store and uh, yeah only only i wanted to tell is that uh, do not take your uh, health lightly uh, you know go for regular uh, medical checkup especially uh, once you're 60 uh, because you are needed for your people mm, yeah that's it how about you man how about how have you uh, been life's been good so yeah. far so far so good but then yeah again life has its up and downs yeah. so just going with the tide so let's see how 2024 takes us on this ride yes so like i told you random talks normal conversation normal uh, authentic or how do you say raw conversation nothing yeah. anything but i do have a flow of how the conversation will go on yeah so sure. let's just uh, start with the first thing uh, you know to 2023 was a very uh, important year for you uh, you had a lot of changes sudden changes yeah. in your life so uh, how are things right now and uh, how are you coping with it um i think only time will has to heal for everyone i mean i'm not the only one who's lost his loved one people have lost it uh, you know in a much badder way you know people have had a lot of even a lot more difficult time than me uh, just you know stay strong be with your loved ones uh, time will heal uh, keep yourself busy that's very important don't keep your mind idle and yeah this is life man it has up, like you said ups and downs yeah. it can't be just ups and it can't be just down uh, your time will come yeah uh, just uh, keep progressing so how are uh, how is the family members coping <coughs> with the uh, you know each one that uh, change each one's coping very differently my mom had it uh, very tough yeah. as you can imagine they were together for so many years and all of a sudden just like that uh, my dad leaves uh, it's not easy for anyone so it's been real tough on my mom uh, but Yeah, hopeful. I'm just hopeful that you know, as time progresses, the pain doesn't heal, but you just get used to the pain. Uh, yeah. That's that's what I'm hopeful about. All right. Uh, let us not dwell in it because we have almost dwell in it, and we are still dwelling in it. Mm. But like you say, <clears throat> everything has an up and down. Yeah. So let's just climb the up now. So you've been working in corporate, right? Yeah. I've also had my stories in corporate. and i also have a special audience today who has been working in corporate from 4 years so round of applause for uh, mr vishbhav who is also the cameraman for the day uh, so hey vishbhav hope you're doing great and yeah so how's corporate life been treating you uh to each uh, his own i guess but uh, as you you know go deeper into the corporate world you realize that uh, you just just working hard isn't good enough you have to be smart you have to have the right connections Uh, basically whole buckets you know what do you call it in local terms yeah. uh, but uh, yeah everybody needs money right everybody knows uh, uh, you know money doesn't grow on tree uh, nobody i don't know half the people working in corporate may not even like what they do but the pay is good especially in the it field mm-hmm. um, so you just have to be there just just toil hard perfect so vicky uh, like you told you have uh, been working in corporate but uh, i just want to know what's your take on your family because you come <laughs> from a family of artists Yeah. Ajama has been working in theater and movies in 
I don't know how many languages. Then comes the five big sisters, mm-hmm. the wonderful talented sisters who are singers, actors, and theatre, and you know some given cameos in movies in Tulu movies as well. And then comes your uncle uh, Raj Gopal, who is a very well-known musician. Uh, you know, who, he's famous throughout our coastal belt and in the music industry in Canada and yeah. in the TV segment. True. And then comes your cousin uh, Sumuka. who is also a budding musician who is very good uh, you know musician he plays guitar and i don't know how many sitar, uh, sitar and, yeah. yeah how many instruments and he also produces he mixes and how is that i mean like corporate life and then your music life and then you also have been composing and you know producing music so how do you balance that and what's your take on music as a family uh, for fam- for our family i think music is very important it's given bread I uh, I mean uh, when I was born I think my parents uh, had you know I I was uh, very blessed that I you know they had jobs and stuff but uh, back when my parents my grandmother were younger I think this was the bread and butter especially my grandmother you know she lost her husband very early then she had five girl child she had to take care of it so theater was the only source of uh, bread for us they toil hard uh, it's always been very personal uh, to us uh, music especially and like you said you know our family it's branched out in different segments yeah. of music growing up it's similar to how how do you how you grow in a you know doctor's household for example your both the parents are doctors your relatives are doctors they just come home and talk about uh, medicine itself it's, doctor stuff. right so yeah doctor stuff basically so this also is the case when you whenever we get together you know we jam songs together uh, we talk about music uh, with sumuka i talk about technicalities and uh, it's fun man it's fun yeah Okay. Uh just a small uh alert to the viewers out there there's some construction work going on in the background so if you hear some drilling voices I'm so sorry it's our first take on trying to do podcast so yeah I'm so sorry Only you guys have to help us with the budget budget you know, yeah get sponsors yeah, this episode sponsors, is not sponsored give it good give it a good a good amount of view and uh, take us take to us uh, even higher <laughs> yeah so yeah this episode is not sponsored but hey guys if you guys out there who is willing to sponsor feel free feel, feel free, free. Uh, i will give my details yeah. in the description box feel free to sponsor yeah, perfect so vicky uh, we spoke about uh, you know music and this thing so you are into music production uh, yeah. we all know uh, if you guys haven't heard about vignesh's song tu sath hai is on uh, all possible all, yeah, so that's tu sath hai if the animation fails imagine there's a poster of tu sath hai yeah, and also here. we'll put the link to the song in the uh, description Obviously. or comment section below you guys can check it out at your leisure yeah, yeah. so how did that happen vicky like what's the what was the process and how did you start with production and this thing So that happened very spontaneously man I wasn't looking uh, to make songs or write songs uh, so uh, one day you know Sagar right yeah. the fancy goes the fancy music yeah. so uh, he uh, DM me on my Instagram saying hey uh, bro I you into music and stuff I said yeah and then he said I have you know done three to four samples just the track uh, just a basic melody do you want to listen to it and you know uh, take the project forward I said yeah then he mailed me and uh, there were like four tracks and two sath is uh, drop I I loved it right from the moment I heard it and then i said bro complete this track just put basic chords and uh, give it back to me and he got back to me after a couple of weeks and then uh, i wrote the lyrics to those other here you know under uh, one hour maybe uh, in, on a, a week day morning i still remember on my own. old laptop and but uh, so you have written the lyrics for the same song as well yeah i have written the lyrics for the same that's song that's great well. dude yeah so uh, but uh, you know my hindi is not my first language so i had to refer back to my sir uh, who is also written uh, other songs for us it's still in the making and he uh, did some mild correction so most of the lyrics is uh, by me only and then we took the project forward he liked it he liked the hook and everything but we had zero budget man like absolutely zero budget uh, uh, you know i'm not telling you know i'm not you know discouraging anyone to make you know music you need budget but that helps that helps in the quality of the no- song not not the melody itself uh, so we had zero budget but thankfully string studios of sumuka he helped us out a lot and lord i have always be thankful to him uh day in and day out mid now a lot of uh, you know work stuff going there and uh, i found vijayta and trisia uh, uh, vijayta i knew before trisia through a mutual friend i love their singing i talked to them and they were kind enough to sing it for free they love the drop and the song too 
uh, one fine evening we recorded them you know separately and then uh, again we actually wanted to you know send it out for mix and masters but again no budget so sagar himself you know mixed and masters after multiple iterations you should see the voice notes that we have mm. uh, and also one fun fact is that we never really met uh, to the so this is all episode. virtually oh, completely virtual you know, completely on the calls voice notes uh, not even one single video call also no, no just voice calls voice notes and audio calls and it happened that's true right like when you find people with the same mentality and working towards and if you're passionate about anything yeah. for example the project that you were like if you're really passionate and if if you find the right people with the right set of mind mm. anything is uh, possible anything and is thanks possible. to covid uh, the virtual era has been boomed to next yeah, level yeah people only realize that uh, how efficient virtual uh, meetings are exactly. you know connectivity is uh but yeah man working in thusate was a very pleasurable experience very uh, you know satisfying experience not just the, for a musician it's not just uh, you know uh, the money obviously money is important mm-hmm. everybody you know gets to you know looking look forward for money but for a musician the actual satisfaction part comes when you know one is the making of the song or music and when people come back to you and say you know this is great music keep doing stuff that's very you know encouraging mm-hmm. uh so when i heard it uh, again uh, dj man so you know he's played my songs on multiple locations thanks to him big shout out to him uh, it just feels so fulfilling you know when people just jump around for the uh, drop specially yeah because i really love the drop of that because i still remember when you started working on the project you're like you know i'm been working on an idm track and i'm pretty sure you're going to love the yeah, drop and i still remember it was manika's uh, sangeet we finished with all the formal function and all yeah and that then, was a vibe yeah and then we went below the parking for some uh, reason and uh, we just plastered the song and you could just see that that vibe that song said it's really great kudos thank kudos you, to you thank kudos you. to the whole team thank you and uh, yeah uh, really love the song I, again guys if you guys really want to check out you guys have to check out uh, the song description will be here once again poster will be here if not imagine there's a poster and everything will be linked down and shout out to the whole team uh, vignesh and uh, yeah So Vicky, you told about music production. You've told, you've spoken about two sathe also. Now I want to know about the new age music that's happening, right? Mm-hmm. It's on Instagram, and because thanks to social media, new artists have been discovered. They are putting out their talents on this thing. So what's your take? Because I recently saw an artist. I'm not going to name the artist. I'm pretty sure who you're talking about. The song on the streaming platforms, top notch. Yeah. all right but the same song when the artist performed on stage in a live event it sounded totally different so what's your take on that since you have a very good knowledge on uh, music and everyone has their own opinion so don't think that okay you've just started in music totally yeah. fine but again everyone has their opinion so what's your take on that uh, platform streaming platform 100% you go to the concert it's totally the other way around so what's your take on that so yeah before i start like you mentioned it's very subjective this is my point of view your point of view uh, exactly from what little i know about the music production and stuff so we yeah, are talking about this particular artist i wouldn't call singer because he's, he's an artist he writes he composes he produces he performs his uh, song so once again i'm saying kudos to the talent mm. talent is immense but i'm saying you i'm just asking you about the yeah the i understand you know uh, people pay uh, their hard earned money and go to watch their uh, artist uh, live favorite artist live and then performance turns out to be a dud uh, it does uh, you know frustrate you uh, but f- that particular talking about that particular uh, incident that particular one mm. which you're talking about i think the problem there was uh, he was too tired man mm-hmm. his voice was drained that happens when you tour and especially and as you experience i think he'll uh, you know learn the new te- uh, techniques and has to how to preserve your voice mm-hmm. but there i think he could have really sung in a lower key and you know made the uh, 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 uh event successful but that did not happen but my uh, what i'd want to address here is uh, do not compare playback singer to uh, an independent, independent artist, artist. Uh, in a country like india where billions and i don't know how many people are actually trying to venture out in uh, music mm. uh, this there is guy who writes his st- song uh, performs and gets really successful uh it, it's hard work it, yeah. it takes a lot of uh, talent and without any backing of any record label you know how monopoly that uh, exactly. record labels have uh, the stronghold record labels have in 
India. He's an independent artist. So there is there is no comparison. You you they compare you know I'll just spread straight out say guys like you know K K Sonu Nigam Arijit Singh to mm. you know independent artist who writes and performs the song. It's not fair. Mm. Uh, these are playback artists. You know they they have vocal range. Their vocal ability is on another level. Mm. Uh, you don't have to compare. Uh, never you know uh, there's uh, this saying by you know never compare artist or never compare music. Mm. Once you start doing that, you'll uh, lose. Uh, you know you'll start losing. Uh, start uh, you know stop. Wouldn't enjoy the music as much as you wanted to. You know so never compare artists. Just enjoy the music. Uh, for example, I listen to all kinds of music. You know no prejudice. Uh, you you don't have to understand the lyrics to uh, you know enjoy the music. Exactly. So that's very important. So still talking on the topic of music, how important is auto tune? <laughs> oh, that's a very. Uh, I mean. Let's just go. Just let's just touch on the topic and come. Yeah. Let's not go deep because we've gone an n number of times yeah. in the deep conversation. Just want to uh, tell the viewers like how auto tune works in the music industry. So uh, uh, just because you, you just because a singer uses auto tune doesn't mean he's a bad singer. Bad singer. Yeah. And uh, auto tune is primarily gets used by the mix engineers or the guys who mixes the uh, you know uh, a song uh, on the recommendation of the music director. Mm-hmm. There's a certain way how uh, a music director imagine the voice to be. you know heard as uh, they, it's absolutely so auto tune is 25 years or 26 years old now it's as old as we are so it was uh, a recent invention uh, yeah quite recent i mean uh, there's a reason that even after 26 years it's still on the top of the game there are plenty of other pitch correction softwares there's melodyne uh, where you you know you manually uh, sit the notes into the places but auto tune uh, does it for you okay. the software it's you just put in what key you want let's say the song is in d and you want it in d it corrects uh-huh. but the biggest problem here is uh, for a professional singer when he sings nobody is pitch perfect mm. uh, when he sings and uh, auto tune mildly corrects it you doesn't make a big difference in fact it enhances your voice you know okay. the processing and everything there's a lot of other processing that goes on but that adds a little bit of uh, just gives that uh, yeah drizzle of yeah on on that auto tune but when non singers you know what I'm what I'm talking like about and <laughs> no you don't do that but in bollywood especially you know actors are trying to sing when that happens they not they do not use auto tune they abuse auto tune when that happens obviously it's going to sound robotic your way of key and auto tune has such a difficult job as to you know uh, bring it down to that right key uh, it becomes very difficult and then one guy they say no one guy is enough 100 guys can do good things but one, one guy out of yeah, is, yeah. Uh, that's enough to ruin its legacy so uh, it's like a shop <laughs> i don't want to talk about that uh, that video call thing <laughs> Like a show. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that's a very perfect example that happened many years ago. People still comment about that incident in his, and every time he tried to do something. Uh, so auto tune is uh, very infamous. It's it's unfortunate. Half the people do not not half more than half the people do not know how Out it's used use. and uh, you know what are its uses. Only people who professionally use it know and no comments. Actually, there was a recent interview from Arijit Singh. He yeah, was he talking told, about yeah, yeah how yeah. Uh, IRM and brought it into the industry, man. I mean, uh, see uh, that what that thing actually the trend started. You remember way back uh, T Pain back in our school yeah. days. Yeah, basically T Pain. If you see like every song that he has sung, that was his I signature style actually. Yeah, I don't know what do you call it in music terms or the dynamics or what. Yeah, R&B, but yes, yes, it yes. used to be similar and yeah. used to be pitch perfect. and that's his style uh, yeah. he wanted to sound different he's, it's not that he's incapable just check out uh, t pain singing live without auto tune such a fabulous he actually singer. sings good he's good that's so he did not uh, bring on auto tune or use auto tune to aid his lack of singing yeah. it just to change the style and yeah. you know how it took everybody started at that period and at back then in that time like when we were like listening to t pain or acon for that matter every feature had t pain and yeah. I, think, i think there was one in 2008 year yeah, or something i think there was one award function and grammys sure. grammys, grammys was, yeah, yeah i think grammys. every nominated song had t pain in yeah, its feature so different. basically it doesn't matter which song one he's going to get the award for sure for sure so that's how i uh, you know success hits uh, everybody differently man so, mm-hmm. you know everybody takes different r- routes to success, to success so yeah. tpen that was lot more effective for tpen but that trend is not anymore now we makes an auto tune with that hala hala and all those things so <laughs> i don't think that's going to work in <laughs> yeah those things worked back then so things work Every, everything has its time okay so auto tune is a good thing It's a good thing you until you use it in moderation. Until you start a, uh, abusing take it, take advantage of it. Yeah, that, I think that holds good for any other any things in life as exactly. well. Exactly, perfect, perfect. All right, uh, 
done with auto tune now let's get into your content creation just give throw some light on how you started with content creation and i so recently i've been seeing your instagram page we have been done reaction oh, videos oh yeah man <laughs> so just tell me about that because uh, that's kind of fun to watch like out of nowhere one day you're scrolling and suddenly vignesh pops up with some video it's kind of fun and yeah just give me uh, your insight on how content creation began so for content creation as uh, if you guys check out my channel my first video is me reviewing uh, uh, you know skull candy earphones yeah some earphones i'm not quite sure that's how it started but then i I wanted to do it as a series uh, I couldn't get it into voice over it required a lot of uh, yeah. uh, you know gadgets and you were back then what like 17 18 Uh, not that old but i think that was way back in uh, around that 1899 i, guess. 1890, I don't know yeah, yeah. it must, must be around that and then i stopped and then i randomly started singing and putting it on to youtube that's mm-hmm. when i decided you know you just have to give it you just have to put it out there yeah. it's up to people uh, to you know take it forward i mean that's what it has been said on youtube no if you just give your heart and soul into your content the right people will find it and once they find it they are going to support you yeah they're going to and what's the funny part or what's the surprising part about or social content creation is the one you expect to go viral or one doesn't you, go yeah viral. it doesn't go viral the least expected or the least effort uh, goes viral or gives you that success uh, but uh, that doesn't happen overnight uh, mm. you've been doing it consistently for yeah. all the while so uh, that that consistency really pays off exactly. uh, it's, it's a very weird but you know you you, yeah. you do it too so what do you think about it oh uh, for me like if i have to go back in time you've always been telling right like you speak well and your yeah. camera presence is good i think you need to start you need to start but i was always hesitant hesitant i think vishbhav knows this because me and vishbhav had a talk about you know starting an instagram page hmm. like a random instagram page you know we will put something like i will start and i had spoken about him and then we spoke about the pros and cons mm. see once you're into the social media obviously you have trolls you have haters it's and all the mean comments yeah, yeah. i mean uh, sitting here I, it's easy for me to say you know you can ignore it but when it happens to you uh, exactly uh, i cannot imagine what a celebrity goes through so many hate comments not just you your your, your child your young child exactly. your wife your mother and everything but that's part and parcel, parcel man of it. Uh, you get a lot of brands and endo- yeah. endorsement through social media you'll have to uh, go through so with like this so like i was saying so we thought of that and then i was a bit hesitant because about the hate trade and stuff But then one fine day, I was like, "Why not just give it a try?" Because I still remember I shot my first video at around twelve thirty in the night, edited on the same night, and put it out in the same night. And I just sent messages in the morning, like mm-hmm. I've started a YouTube channel, and then everyone started. Everyone backed me up, and then I put out a couple of vlogs. Even you're there, yeah. Vishwa was there. We've played football, we've reviewed burgers, we've uh, gone to uh, Yakshagan yeah. and all, and we've covered the. Kodiyal Theer that was there last year, so but then yeah, uh, content creation like it all consistency is the key. You need to be consistent, and then what fascinates me or what? How do you keep the content brain running? It's not like every day you get up and you have an idea to make yeah, a video. Yeah, so and how- it's not like we're privileged enough to have two uh, million, three million subscribers exactly. where uh, you can just put whatever you put want. Whatever Nobody you wants want. to see us wake up and brush our teeth. Teeth, uh, exactly. <laughs> so very important. And then well. see uh, again when I'm not bad mouthing the town I live in. I love the town I live in. But then again, when you compare Mangalore to Bangalore or Mangalore to Bombay or Mangalore to any big metropolitan cities, the things you ha- you get to do over there it's quite large compared to mangalore you see you can cover mangalore all the fun stuffs in mangalore like what in five vlogs yeah beaches all these whatever it is but again when you go to metropolitan city you know you the things you can do over there is a lot this is my perception again i could be wrong again uh, so just give me a light like how how difficult it is see there are very successful content creators in mangalore also for example powerhouse is there there is neglected romeo and there are uh, shutterbox is there okay, yeah. and stereo cat motor vlogs he is there so they have been doing it well uh, they might be proving me wrong as well but then this is what i found uh, kind of difficult to put out content on a daily basis so what what's your take on that i mean uh, there's no comparison between bombay bangalore they are cosmopolitan cities mm. we are just you know still developing we have no metros and stuff uh, to each his own man everybody has its different uh, niche uh, uh i think shutterbox usually puts uh, the movies i'm not i haven't watched his yeah he but. does daily vlogs uh, also he was a part of a movie called rapata where he was yeah, the dop yeah. so he was he used to put the back 
the making yeah the, like i said it's very important to find a niche he's team. basically a motor vlogger so he hmm. goes on adventures and trips and drives and all so yeah what, what's with uh, him as well sharan uh, he has started now venturing into podcast podcast right? chilling yeah. chilling with chilling chilling with chilling, chilling yeah with chilling, something right? like that chilling with chilling uh, yeah. it's like you know i i'm pretty sure he did not start with it initially started by posting with videos, vines so, yeah, yeah vines on and instagram you have to adopt very yeah. important you yeah. have to adopt uh, you know things have to change uh, Uh, but uh, yeah i was going to talk about mr basil mm-hmm. how one of the biggest youtubers in the world mm-hmm. uh you it might not it, it's not easy you know i don't know how often he puts his content out even for him uh, to think he has is he may have his big team now but uh it just doesn't happen straight away right yeah. you just don't wake up and go shoot there's so much preparations behind that mm. so even for them it's not easy uh, content is something uh it's not like you work in corporate yeah. work at somebody a corporate you know somebody gives you do this do that but do it by end of the day you're done mm. uh, it's it has, it's got a different level of stress that, that is different but here you'll have to own, venture out and figure out what you want to put out uh, and everything depends on that exactly. it's a different challenge so that was content creation uh, so so far content creation is, is has it been good or has it been difficult has it been bad what's oh, your take onji rupaya la thikki jeetna ta but like i said uh, last one year i haven't been i'll be honest i haven't been consistently putting up sometimes i feel the i don't uh, i don't feel the content is good enough i doubt myself sometimes i just feel lazy and when i start shooting uh, mobile uh, space fills up it says you oh, it's full that's when i realize oh, okay i'll have to clear the space so a lot of things uh, but consistency man you have to do it consistency is the key very much perfect all right uh, content creation and let's come back to your and mine and most of the indians favorite topic cricket yes so world cup yes have you moved on um yeah uh, my few of my friends who uh, i think they haven't moved on as much as i am i think the players have moved on the families have moved on a uh, team management has have moved on it, it's only fair that uh, it's only right that you move on as well uh it's not the loss okay the way we lost that hurts the most uh, after after winning 10 games like that yeah. uh, you come into final and then you look clearly hopeless and clueless and you have no strategy exactly uh, uh, that that's very painful and then they come back they also lost like three wickets for 40 mm. and then the way uh, despite all this uh, uh, people in their ears shouting and everything they take it as positive they they feed on the uh, energy there in the crowd and then they bash us completely you know? that's what i was my next question was that uh, what what are your thoughts on australia and their performance and i still i just want to ask this particular question what was your thoughts on uh, pat cummins and his mindset because i remember in one of the press conference he told that uh, there's nothing more joy that don't quote me on it this is not word to word but is like there's nothing more joyous than silencing a crowd of 100000 people in their hometown mm. and winning the world cup so what are your thoughts on that mentality in australia yeah. ruthless mentality man the champion mentality they they five six time world champion for a reason yeah. uh, uh, you come into your uh, enemy territory so to say not this is not war, war but, but yeah it's enemy territory yeah it's enemy it's territory right. yeah, there's 100000 people in your ear shouting booing uh, then you have a, a opponent or a home team that's won 10 matches in a row yeah. uh and then they come back give that kind of a statement and then you know stay true to that word mm-hmm. that's only australia's can do i think they are one of the only teams who perform uh, best under pressure mm. uh, pressure uh, you, the more pressure on them the best uh, they perform uh it's just that uh, I, i don't know start from the coaching level itself how, probably how how Could it's be. taught but for us to uh, you know the way kl rahul the whole middle order the that entire middle session of batting was a mess man but if we are going to talk about india's performance in uh, the world cup i think we'll have to shoot another whole episode yeah, for that yeah let's not go let's there let's just not go there but no, then, no, yeah. i'm just trying to say the way middle order batsmen batted mm. they looked completely clueless what management told uh, kl rahul or uh, what was expected of him because clearly that's not the way mm. he played uh, and i don't know what they told him just hold back went to accelerate it was a complete mismatch man yeah i mean there's no point in talking, talking now but it. yeah let's just move on from the world cup so the next big thing uh ipl hmm. me you hmm. most of the karnatakans karnatakans karnadigas 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 rcb yeah cup namne nahi sati cup namne na gotilla chippa chippa matra namde is varsha dinda so you've seen the auction this year uh, stupid auction from the 
past couple to a couple of years but bowling line up this year I don't know man it looks shape key you can have the best bowlers but it you're playing at chinna swami so mm. you have to be wary of that pack even uh, best bowlers like bumra have had their off day at chinna swami uh, but uh, the problem is not there i don't think the management cares about fans anymore fans yeah uh, because i think see most more than that i think the management has taken the fans for granted granted that, that's very aptly put actually uh they just uh, again uh, some people might find this very rude but they just know to quote virat kohli yeah. i mean they just know to milk virat kohli milk Kohle. virat kohli uh, i mean that's okay it's a franchise based uh, game Everybody it's a business at the end business. of the day yeah there's no uh, doubt about that you milk but give us something no uh, uh, you can't have give us one cup you can't have uh, four players or three to four players and then have uh, every team has filler players we yeah. talked about this yeah. but you can't have three to four quality players and then have uh, you know five to six uh, filler mm. players that just is that's not even 50% of your uh, uh, team's composition man mm. uh, how can you, and deep, these guys have been doing it for years now first it was the trio of ab uh, virat and gail now they, they have last Faf, time to faf maxwell and vk uh, vk and now rajat patil are in rajat the mix Patidar. as well and then everybody you know like the filler players that just does not happen and especially uh, what insult to injury or in, uh, you know uh, is that uh, we play at chinna swami chinna swami yeah. uh, as much as entertaining that ground is that's a graveyard it's a pain for, for us <laughs> it's a graveyard for bowlers yeah uh, i think it's it has one of the shortest bound is in india yeah for sure i think one of the i have personally been there uh, so uh, one of the boundaries i, I don't know Could i could you just fact check that if possible uh, 55 oh, that's all right uh, 55 to 60 meter boundaries uh, that's a very short where it's too it's very small uh, the margin for error at uh, chinna swami is uh, it's so less Uh, but we know this we've been playing in the same ground for uh, what 15 years now yeah 16 17 Six, years i don't know and the, even then you know the mindset and uh, what the management thinks as to how st- how to uh, bring our a game it's not done no never mind one sale alla yer sale alla 60 sotru now rcb rcb so rcb I wishing rcb all the best and also a very good news to all, all the mangalorians out there hang your ice creams have mm. been partnered as the official ice cream sponsors for rcb so that's a great thing and a uh, feather on the cap of all mangalorians so Actually, once again virat uh, dm me said munchin ice cream taste mara <laughs> And the Virat team men all about the ganji up for tinu mati. Yeah, Satya, Virat man, bar like ice cream. Alone banana go kala master or banana. You pop on a master. Two or two. So also see, uh, these guys have not won anything, and these guys, the ticket prices of uh, for an IPL game are still as the highest. Yeah, and the, despite that, it's a full house. So full you can house, imagine yeah. the craze the team has. Like you told, it's a, it's a business at the end of the day. Mm. So, looking forward for IPL 2024. it's going to start on march 31st if i'm not wrong and the last week of march so let us see let us see at least can we'll we win it, it? Uh, in another 10 years it'll be 6 months away home uh, aggregates on uh, who knows they just want money right <laughs> oh yeah like that even now we get tired of don't you get tired of ipl uh, one you know one and a half uh, into the month yeah i mean see before it was very fun because it was a new concept two months uh, not exactly two months one and a half month but it is to be fun and then as years went on passing by like see i'm talking again as an rcb fan first you get to know the status of the team in the first three games whether we will go through or not but then somehow we have been reaching to somehow the to the knockouts knockouts and, and every year every fan has to put this on us nikalna da the team e eth vana last calculator ottond kullu nakle ku So yeah so that was uh, RCB but anyways RCB till I live for the rest of my life so that was RCB and uh, predictions this year yeah. IPL yeah obviously RCB IPL um yeah i heart wants uh, rcb mm-hmm. but the brain says uh, mumbai or csk mumbai uh, which position Kaas do you think <laughs> ambani ambani kaas bol rahe hain umpire la blue color aata <laughs> Uh so RCB which position will they end uh, the league stage which position if they 4 or 5 4 or 5 and if 4 or 5 calculators it to help on the 4 it in a fifth end so finals uh mumbai might come mumbai csk or mumbai Guj- uh, gujarat i don't know since uh, hardik's not there anymore that's a whole new topic to yeah. talk about yeah. 
so yeah so vicky yes sir we are uh, at the last stage of the series uh, i mean the episode Jeez. so basically it's a rapid fire ellay yeah. matada sasta coffee with karan laka mm. uh, but hamper hamper tosh pale first uh, hamper korke hamper nikkata undu nija ta oka nija ne idina joy kandu padi nata pepsi hotel <laughs> pepsi all right so once again rapid fire yes sir first thing to your mind Pull it out. All yes, right. Sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Three, two, one, go. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, chicken sukkah. Chicken sukkah. Uh, movies or web series? Anything that's entertaining. What's your go-to dance move when nobody's watching? I think this, you guys know that. I know <laughs> that. Uh, what's the most bizarre item you've purchased and what's the thought process behind that? Bizarre item? Uh, like one random thing you've bought. I don't know about bizarre item but uh, I bought one guitar uh, mm. very cheap guitar despite mm. people telling do not buy it I bought uh, we composed a couple of songs in it and then uh, we sold it off for a better price oh business business man. business, business. Uh, if your life was a movie uh, what would the title be what would the title be i think uh, wiggy shamp uh, wiggy shank redemption oh my God. but only thing i'm redeeming here is uh, gift voucher <laughs> <laughs> Uh if animals could talk which one would do you think would be the funniest? Uh I think uh goat goat was they at least can say a month right? Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh KK or Sonu Nigam? Oh god I think uh, very tough but uh, my personal favorite KK. KK. Last but not the least singing or music production. Mm, I think for well, music production. Music production. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. We are at the end of the fire, uh, rapid fire. Well done. You played good. Hamper next time, Gurpa. Have a. Inchi na ya. Google pe maalpa. Google pe. Google pe. Google pe. Google pe. Have a book. After the show. So yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the end of the. podcast it was a fun I, podcast uh, i enjoyed it thoroughly thank you uh, vignesh uh, for coming and uh, you know being part of my first podcast uh, once again uh, also shout out to mr vishbhav vittal pujari uh, the cameraman behind who has been doing all the hard work uh, who has been uh, sitting in the director's chair and uh, just sipping on mountain dew but once again thank you for your time vignesh uh, your thoughts on the first episode a very fun man it's very refreshing when you somebody makes you sit and talk about your life and the things that you've been doing for uh, you know few years mm. uh, yeah i wish you nothing set up path in all api wish you nothing ge dada i wish you nothing but the best i want to complete malpaga nothing but the day gata how have a set up path ji itte kali pepsi undu nana next to le dada mata barpun and table ge आओ निकले अनु माल बोल हां निकल आशीर्वाद बंड लाइक माल प्ले सब्सक्राइब माल प्ले फ्रेंड्स ना क्ले कडपुर ले कुडा कुडा तू ले राडरा अकाउंट बंद तू ले आना उंज रीच कर पाले आते मारे बका तू ले स्टूडियो बारपिनी रन वी हु सेटअप रन रन वी हु बियर हु बियर हु बका बोल बेते ने भाई सब बारपुन पेप्सी भाई सब so yeah. yeah also before ending uh, congratulations on this podcast thank you for inviting me nanala malamala nama dala nana next year sharukh khan kandu kullala bro thuka they were they were nashra the thuka and yeah support from you people audience would mean a lot so once again thank you for tuning in and uh, don't forget to like share subscribe and comment down your favorite moments uh, down and also i'm going to give uh, the description of uh, vignesh's channel in the description box do check it out it should be somewhere over here over here or over here, here anywhere anywhere that it is actually yeah so thank you vignesh thank you for coming on thank the you, episode and uh, let's catch up soon Likewise. basically today in the evening but still let's catch up soon take care guys bye thank you see you bye bye